Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So yes, as the thumbnail states that we are here with free bootcamp eight and this bootcamp eight is very special for every DevOps and SRE engineer. Why it is so special? You can go towards my playlist in my YouTube channel and you can see how we have covered the seven bootcamps for free from which my students have got various placements in good organizations. Now for the free bootcamp eight, I am here to tell you all that we are bringing eight projects in next one month, which we are going to cover on every Saturday and Sunday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now this is very interesting for every job search person, every engineer who is migrating towards DevOps and SRE roles or if you are stuck in the current job role and willing to upskill into DevOps and SRE, this is the right video for you. So what are we waiting for? Let's start the content. Now let me tell you like how the projects are defined. So this time if you see everything is defined earlier itself. I have prepared a proper roadmap. I don't want to skip any of the classes for you. So this time a little bit more hard work has been kept on for every project for every detail and we have tried and tested these projects on our systems and it's working really really good as per the industry standards. Now if you want to be the part of this free bootcamp check out the descriptions for the steps how to join this free bootcamp where this free bootcamps will happen how you can actually get the free documents of these eight projects along with the theory documents interview questions documents or answers documents or the real time scenario questions how to use uh, various kinds of AI on your day to day activities everything in the next 30 days we are going to cover. So one important thing to tell you that we are starting this free bootcamp from August, from August 24th. Yes, you heard it right from the next week of the Saturday, we are starting this free bootcamp eight and the first and the foremost project of this free bootcamp eight will be your EKS cluster setup with Terraform and deploying multiple applications onto the Terraform. Now in this project, I'm going to tell you what are the AWS services that are involved in the EKS cluster creation, how the Terraform code actually interacts with the AWS components and create various kinds of services on the cloud, how you can create your first set of deployments with the help of Terraform and many, many things. So the document is with me, but I'm just giving you the glimpse like how the uh, cluster setup is done, how you can utilize your Terraform, how this project can be kept in your resume so that the recruiters are very interested in knowing about you more and giving you the opportunity to sit in the interview. Now, what are you waiting for? If you have liked the content till now, hit a like. And if you have any doubts regarding the free bootcamp, eight, you can comment down in the comment section. Now let's go to the next project. The next project is the continuation of the first project itself. This will be Kubernetes networking. Yes, guys, many a times in DevOps interview people ask like how the two pods communicate, how the Kubernetes networking is designed. If given a chance, can you design the entire networking of the Kubernetes clusters? No. So these all things are there where every DevOps engineer tries to fail, I mean tries to answer, but he he gets failed because people try to go in depth and this particular project will be helping you by knowing all the details in depth. So what are you getting? So here we will be discussing about Kubernetes networking, calico.yaml files, uh, code DNS. How do you use the code DNS? How do you verify the code DNS in the Kubernetes systems? Uh, network policy, scalability, IP management in the Kubernetes systems, service discovery, customizable uh, performance, how the performance of the uh, systems are taking place. Then you create your application deployments, roll down uh, into your production systems and how the networks between the production systems are managed, those all things are here. How do you apply any kind of external network policies on your pod and different kinds of things so with this project you are going to learn. How an egress and ingress uh, traffic is handled for a pod is also designed in this. So basically, what my thought intention with this project is to tell you all that yes was Kubernetes is very important and this particular project if it is in your resume and the confidence is like different to the next level. So what are you waiting for? If you have liked this and yes we are going to deal with Nginx uh, uh, ingress controller also how do you deploy ingress uh, Nginx ingress controller and, and make sure like how do you uh, manage it scale it everything is in the this project this one project will suffice your entire Kubernetes cluster 
needs now going on to the next project let's discuss about the helm chart scenarios now this is also in 2024 people are lacking very much people are trying to understand your helm what does it do how do you convert your jar into an helm chart how do you design your helm charts what exactly the helm charts are so basically in this project i'm going to teach you all with the help of multiple uh, projects inbuilt and we will be creating from scratch the helm charts for a particular project you will be with me uh, so you can see here a create helm chart so that is how you are going to learn with me so this time plan is 100% ready for you so i am not going to uh, 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 tell you that okay one day before i am doing today before i am doing no this time i am ready with the content and only thing is we are going to roll out for you guys so you are going to do uh, with me uh, the basic uh, creation of the helm charts uh, what is a uh, pod auto scaling ingress management here also we will be doing we will be creating a values.yaml file the entire helm chart structures we will be using uh, various kinds of uh, uh, templates onto this at the same time you are going to roll out uh, uh, the helm charts into the kubernetes cluster so this will be your third project and we'll be doing the accessing of the web application how do you deploy into the cluster and how do you access this web application onto your project right so this is one more important thing and don't worry because we are going to share you the roles and responsibilities document for for every project which i'm going to teach you only thing is check the links in the description and you need to join that groups because in that groups these documents will be rolled out along with that information uh, important information will also be told to you now going on to the next uh, project let's see like yes here one more important project gitops gitops people are behind gitops now what is gitops how do you integrate with the argo cd what exactly the gitops uh, states when some unknown is reached to you or what exactly in the interview people are expecting you to know about the gitops everything this project is going to tell you so here also elastic kubernetes service argo cd gitops and one kind of application we are going to do uh, the deployments on the kubernetes so here also we are going to deploy on eks and we will be making sure like everything the integration between your eks clusters argo cd with the help of your gitops we will try to link these three platforms and we will try to make sure that project is in your resume right very important because that's how you are going to learn guys and when someone is going to teach you live on saturday and sunday every every week 6 pm to 8 pm that, now what is uh, what is that you are looking for you have to just join my youtube live sessions you have to make sure that yes i am with praveen the confidence that i have with me of cracking 30 plus product based companies product and service based companies you can be the next one walking on my path if you have a doubt that how many companies i have cracked check out my playlist of the interview uh, playlist where i have given all my interview questions and documents also to make sure that you are understanding what exactly the devops and sre interviews are looking in 2023 and 2024 now going ahead to the next project we will be discussing about um, python now if you see the bootcamp 8 with 8 projects are lined up with all the things that are needed for you to crack the interview now in this uh python automation ideas real time scenario based ideas so i will give you some automation ideas so for example like how do you automate a trivi scan on a docker image right you want to do it with python for example the next set of automation is how do you automate the sonar cube analysis on a project with the help of python now one more automation is how do you automate the docker image build and push now one more automation is uh, for example if you see here automated jenkins pipeline trigger how do you uh, trigger your pipeline jenkins pipeline with the help of uh, python and complex to complex so oops concepts and different kinds of uh, other automation things are also lined up in this particular project number 5 now we're going on to the project number 6 we are targeting your ansible because most of the companies like walmart verizon infosys and a few other companies like informatica sap paytm dun and brad street are using ansible and in this particular project you are going to learn about various complex to complex uh, ansible scenarios your jinja templates of ansible ansible roles ansible galaxies ansible ad hoc commands ansible playbooks what are the different kinds of uh, the commands that you have like tasks when you are creating uh, what are the different types of ansible modules you have line in file module uh, get url module service module install all those things are packed up in this particular project so till now for the next for the, for the almost 10 minutes you have listened from me about the six project now praveen okay so you are going to conduct this projects for next Uh, let's say like down the line uh, next one month from 24th august to next one month and every week you are going to come on live from 6 pm to 8 pm and you are going to teach us all the things that you are telling now what will be the 7th and 8th projects 
So seventh and eighth projects are mystery projects for you, which will be revealed at the end of the month. So you need to be waiting for uh, me to reveal those two projects. But I hope that you have liked the content. First, the theory will be started for all the things. We'll touch base on uh, all the theory concepts and then we will jump onto the project related scenarios. And yes, every student of mine is I'm, I'm pretty much damn sure that you are going to love this projects, which I'm going to teach you in live classes on my YouTube. And that's how we have built a greater community. If you have liked the video and watched the video till now, comment down your favorite project out of all these things, because uh, and, and my favorite project, if I want to tell you the Kubernetes networking concept uh, is my favorite project because uh, it will not be found in any of the YouTube channel that much deep, which we are going to cover all this uh, in the next one month coming one month. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. If you are new to the channel, check out all the links in the description and see you all in 24th of August at 6 p.m. So that's all from my end. If you have any queries, any questions regarding this free bootcamp eight that is going to be uh, going on to my uh, on my channel. So you can comment down. I will definitely reply to all your comments and you can share this video with your friends. Share it as much as possible so that we can spread the knowledge of DevOps and SRE to the people and the community. So that's all for today's video. This is Singham signing off from this video. Meet you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.